Here I'll show you five important shortcuts in IntelliJ. Let's go to the first one. So, for instance, here we have uh, a public method, a get edge method. Um, it's, it has to return an integer value. But let's say we made a mistake of making it void instead so that it doesn't turn anything. Now we are looking at an error. So here, when we hover it, we already can see that it cannot return a value from a method with a vo void result type. Yeah. The other way uh, to fix this is using alt and enter. So alt, enter, And then we find a suggestion that we can either make a gate edge return int or we can just delete the return statement. We can choose one of two. Well, we can just delete the return statement and see that there is no error anymore. Let's go to the second one. What if you we want to see recent files. So shortcut to see our recent files is command E. Now we can see all our recent files in the files we have opened. This is quite a handy one. Uh, the other one is if we want to check usages or for instance yeah keywords uh, like uh, types for li like string or int or for that matter any uh, yeah um, any keywords that we want to check including this so let's check the usage of string one way to do that is pressing control in mac it's command and then we see that it's highlighted and we can click it and then here we can see the usage of the string class the other way would be in command b so our age so this is also quite a handy one. I use it uh, most of the times, many times I use it. We can also run anything from anywhere in our code. How do we do that? We just press Ctrl twice. And then you see we can put command. For instance, we can put our project, whichever project we want, and then it will open our project. Well, this is the fourth one, and the fifth one is if we want to select multiple uh, things from our code. For instance, if we want to select public here and name here, or let's say we want to yeah, select, for instance, this versi, public, set, age, and name. We want to delete them. If we want to do that, one way to do it is, well, we're going to get an error. So we can delete, for instance, oh, this. We can also delete, let's say, this one. Well, it's going to create an error as well, and we can also delete this one. So we deleted these three blocks three times. If it is 10 blocks, then we'll have to delete it 10 times. But the easiest way to do that is using Shift and Alt. First, shift and, uh, sh uh, press Shift and Alt, and then select here one, and go wherever you want to select another one, two, and go and select another one, three, now all of them are selected. We can delete them or we can rewrite them. We can rewrite something. This is 
what yeah this one the ways of using now so we tried five uh, shortcuts one of it is alt and enter to correct our errors or to get a suggestion on correcting our errors automatically in IntelliJ and the second one is command and E to check out our recent files like this and the third one is if we want to check a usage for instance of string yeah of age so that and if we want to run anything from anywhere we just do two controls and we can use commands to run anything and the last one is to select uh, only certain areas if we want if we don't want this name this name this name if we want to replace that one way would be shift alt there we go and this name as well and this name this name so this way uh, this it makes it more efficient our coding process until next time.